Hello, welcome back to Vitivage, and today we're going to continue our play of SCP Containment Breach, but not without some hiccups. Not without some big, big hiccups. Welcome to the save file where I am royally, royally, royally screwed over out of many attempts of playing with this uh, SCP-914. Yeah, that's about what I expected. This thing has screwed me over because it distracted me from one very, very, very important predicament that I didn't realize I was facing. And that is that I am dying. I didn't realize this whole red screen thing was meaning that I was da -da 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 dying. I'm dead no matter what I do. I'm completely screwed. There's not a single thing I can do except show you that I am going to die from zombification. You feel very faint. Yes, I feel very, very faint. That is a very important note. I didn't realize how important it was until it was too late. It's like one of those zombie apocalyptic movies where the guy gets slashed and thinks nothing of it and then realizes later on that he's dead. You see all this blood here? Yeah. You hear that breathing behind that door? You see the medical bay? Remember when I encountered those syringes and that zombie? Yeah, I got infected with a zombie virus, which means that I die. Oh, oh, my screen is black. I think I'm gonna die here. Yep, this is it. I'm gonna, I'm a zombie. Please and I... And there I go, eating somebody's insides. Subject D9341, found ingesting doctor data redacted, as sector data redacted. Subject was immediately terminated by Nine-Tailed Fox and sent for autopsy. SCP-008 infection was confirmed, after which the body was incinerated. I basically died from the frickin' zombie virus! So, I'm back with SCP-914. This playthrough has been a lot better. I've had a couple of encounters with old balls in this room, but uh, it's been good. I've got a heavy ballistic vest that I'm wearing and it's keeping me down. This gas mask has infant stamina. I got the old navigator that tells me where everybody is. And uh, I even have a first aid kit and an origami just for perks. But this playthrough, I lucked out. I got a level 5 key card because I picked up every darn key card that I came across and I decided to throw them all into SCP-914 and just run the darn thing over and over and over and before I know it I got a level 4 key card which became a level 5 key card which means that I'm pretty sure I got the highest key card that you can get. I don't know if there's anything higher and unless there's a door I can't open I don't see any reason to try. I don't even know if there's level 6. I tried a little bit. It's always turning into like a MasterCard or a freaking playing card. I don't really want to push it any further. I got a level five. I'm a happy, happy boy. But that's not the funny thing about this this replay. There's a teddy bear. I don't know why this teddy bear is in this 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 room. I'm just gonna put this mask on. All right, three, two, one. Oh God, I hate that thing. Yeah, no, that's one of the things that's changed from this playthrough. Is this is not the same layout as before. But there's this room here, and you know what's really funny? What's really, 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 really funny? The containment chamber for 1914, 914 is in the same place it was before, but look what I have here! SCP-500! Right in the damn hallway next to SCP-914! In this freaking play game, I get not only a level 5 key card, but I get access to freaking SCP-500. The thing that Lou's Lurker was telling me I needed in order to cure myself of the freaking zombie virus. The only thing. What are the chances? I don't know, but this is working out for me, you know. Where one man's poor thing is another man's luck. Let's see, SCP containment procedures. SCP-500 must be stored in a cool and dry place away from bright light. 500 is a small plastic can, which at the time of writing contains 47 red pills. One pill, when taken orally, effectively cures a subject of all diseases within two hours. Ah, <sighs> yeah, okay, so this is SCP-500. The pills that cure any disease. I don't know what this other SCP is. What is this SCP? Let's open it up. What's this thing? I don't know what that is. I'm not even sure if I should touch it. What is that? Okay, um... What's this? Emily. Okay, Emily Ross. What's with the music? 
Level two. Hello, is anybody online? This is surveillance room six. Please state your business. This is assistant Ross. I'm locked inside containment room five and I've only got level two clearance. Are you able to send help? I'm hearing noises from behind the door. Don't know what it is, but I have to get out of here. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid we can't get anyone there right now. Half of the security is unreachable and those we've gotten in contact with seem to be busy with keeping themselves alive or getting out. I need help now. Hello, are you still here? Oh, well that, that's, uh, that's great. Judging from the, um, judging from the stain on the floor here, I would say that old balls had some fun with a young, young, pristine girl. What was this? SCP-1499? I'm a save. Now that I've got these lovely pills that cure every bloody problem under the sun. Yeah, no, this is, I don't know what to tell you, but this is a very lucky re rehash playthrough where the rooms are mostly the same, but like the hallway is just slightly different. And they gave me room SCP-500. Like this is just pure luck. But why couldn't I have, oh God, oh, 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 no. <laughs> hi old balls. You know what, while you're doing that, I'm just gonna grab this thing. What is this, SCP-1499? What does it do? Whoa. Whoa. Oh. I should've read the note. What have I gotten myself into? Oh boy. Oh boy. Where am I? Oh, hi! Whoa, okay. Don't mind me, dudes! Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Don't mind me, I don't know what this is. I have no idea where I am or if it's really a better place to be than where I was before. Is that a throne I'm walking towards? No, maybe, oh, maybe, yeah. Okay, uh, hi buddy, I'm just gonna walk past you, maybe? No? What, what the hell is going on here? What is this? SCP-1499 is a Soviet- oh, oh god! Oh god! What? What? Why? Mmm! What did I do? What the hell happened to me? You know, I see SCP, I trust SCP. What is this? Is this a gas mask? Oh, it's a gas mask. Okay. Well, while Old Balls is making his appearance, I gotta read this. Upon wearing SCP 1499, test subjects report completely different surroundings than they were in prior to wearing SCP 1499. Hi, Lenny. You know what? While you're doing that, I'm just gonna put this on again. Bye! All right, we're in nudist land again. Um, can I take this off? That, did that save me from old balls? It did save me from old balls. Okay. Maybe I can use that. Oh, upon removing SCP-1499 from their head, subjects reappear in the same location they were in when they put it on. For more information, see test log 1499. Ah, I don't, I don't mind that. I'll take the mask. Hopefully that doesn't backfire on me later. I don't know what to make of that, and I don't know what to do with that. But that's gonna hopefully, maybe, potentially help me from some horrible situations. Oh, I got a pill. Okay, I want to try throwing this pill into here, because I suspect it might do something. Let's see what it does. I got like 47 of these pills, and they're all mine. So I might as well use them willy-nilly. What the hell is that? What is this? SCP-427? What the hell is SCP-427? I don't know what SCP-427 is. What happens if I put this thing on? Ooh, ooh. Vibrating, vibrating. Yeah, okay, I don't know what the vibrating is. I'm just gonna close the lock. Okay, all right. Uh, I don't know. What if I stick 1499 into here? I kinda, I, I'm just, I like, wait, what if I stick the pendant back in here again? Ah, uh, new items. You, I gotta, I gotta know what the new items do, man. I love SCP-914. 914 is the bomb. But I spent so much time here testing all a bunch of things out, not realizing I was dying in the previous game. Oh no! Oh no! What? Oh God! What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Oh no! 
Oh, oh I brought one of them <laughs> over. <laughs> Okay, all right, lesson learned. Don't play around with SCPs and SCPs. All right, well, I'm done playing around with, like, all these wonderful SCPs. I may as well head back and see what else we've got. All right, what about over here? Uh, we got the skull over there, which I'm not willing to play with again. But we do have this room full of all these SCPs. And peen- is that peen- Ah, oh, the sounds. Is this Peanut's chamber? I think this is Peanut's chamber. Oh, no, this isn't Peanut. It's one seven. Oh, this one. Peanut's once. Okay. What is this? What is this one? When worn, the wearer begins perceiving a large bipedal entity as an addition to its ordinary surroundings. Entities reported the exhibit a docile and occasionally curious behavior. Reports include entities leaning over the shoulder of persons working and observing them with interest. With one exception, any attempt by the wearer or any other personnel to directly interact with the entities results in severe lacerations suddenly appearing on persons involved. Oh, okay, so basically it's some 3D glasses that leads me to see things that will pretty much kill me. Great. All right, why not? Let's uh, let's experience that. Uh, what do I got to lose? I, I might as well experience the joys of seeing things that shouldn't be seen. Oh, oh, that's that's not disturbing. Oh God, don't glitch towards me. Um, oh, there's there's another one of you over here. Neat. Um, I guess if I touch you, I die. Sure, why not? Oh God. Okay, okay, all, all right. Oh, no, you're all coming at me now. Okay, yeah, ooh. Mm. Mm hmm This is an episode where we get to experience the many ways I can surprise die by many different types of SCPs. Cause <laughs> uh, my curiosity is literally getting me killed. That adage of curiosity killed the cat. I'm the cat. Well, that one could just stay in there then. Let's have a look in here. Let's see, we got 109, 215, and 198. What's this? All right, let's, let's, time for some more reading. SCP-215 is to be kept in a case when not in use. When worn, 215 induces a belief in the wearer that inanimate objects are sentient and capable of communication with the wearer. The severity of the delusion varies from wearer to wearer, but generally strengthens over time if SCP-215 is worn regularly and in the worst case manifests as a severe case of obsessive compulsive disorder accumulating an irrational fear of all machines. Removing SCP-215 does not remove the delusion, although normal methods of therapy have proven to be effective. Well, this doesn't seem like a dangerous SCP per se, but you know, I'm going to wear it. Why not? I put on SCP-215. I got some some nice glasses on me. I'm a, I'm a man of defined tastes. Wearing the glasses in the game of the glasses. What the hell is this? U.S. We got a note. What's the note? Uh, seemingly unlimited amount of water can be removed from the container without changing the water level or the item's mass, which remains a constant. Or, oh 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 hi oh hi um don't mind me Bob. Balls. Black balls. Aha! That worked. Oh, that worked. That worked so well. Oh, that is a lovely counter. I like this mask. This mask is great. <laughs> Let's pick this up. What is this? Yeah, drink it. You drink clear water and you feel fine. I don't think I can go wrong with this thing. Water in SCP is of a slight blue-gray tint with concentration of 20 ppm of tin and 170 ppm. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is my vision getting blurry? What the hell? Why is my vision getting blurry? What am I hearing? What the hell is happening to my screen? What was in that water? The glass is causing this or is the freaking bottle of water causing this? Am I going insane? Yeah, I think I'm going insane. You hear strange sounds in your head. Which SCP is causing this? Are you okay, Steve? Oh, no, I'm not, man. Oh, the regret is kicking in. Should I open this door? What is this? I can't even read 10198. Sure, let's open up this SCP and see what other kinds of regret we can get. I'm hearing my heart breathe. Oh, oh. am I going insane? 
I think I'm going insane. It seems to me that everything around me is alive. SCP-198 appears as an ordinary white porcelain coffee mug with blue vertical stripes evenly spaced around its exterior. There are no visible manufacturer markings or otherwise remarkable. You have a paranoia? Yeah, okay. I, you could definitely, definitely tell I got paranoia kicking in. Approximately two to five seconds after the SCP is held, it will instantly bond itself through unknown, albeit painful means to the handler's hand or hands. Why you're not talking with me? I don't. I'm man. I'm busy reading a note. Why not? Let's 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 touch this thing too. Oh, what? Yeah. Okay. All right. Now I got this. All right. I'm just waiting for something to die. Kill me at this point. I'm gonna die of one SCP or another SCP. This entire thing was an experimental experience of SCP-ness. You don't want to take your glasses off. I don't. You can't take your glasses off. Oh, the whisper is getting bad, man. I'm just waiting to die. What the hell? You feel angry? Oh, I can't see anything. Okay. All right. I can't. What did you say? I don't know. I didn't say nothing. I feel fine. I don't look fine. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have a heart attack at this rate. Oh, yeah. Yeah, these glasses are gonna kill me. That's great. Can I just die now? All right, well, that was a wonderful experience. So that room is complete garbage. There's nothing that is even remotely useful out of all these SCPs. 178, useless. 179, or sorry, 215, 109, and 198, all completely and utterly useless. They are all garbage, sorry. What's in this one? What is this? SCP-205. What does it say? Indirect injury hazard? How is this an indirect injury hazard? What's this? Lights? Do we have anything? What does this say? There's something strange going on here. The cycle seems to have sped up significantly. One of the horn figures has already appeared and is currently having a dinner with her. Okay. Interesting. Do I get like a note? Or something? Ooh. What's that? I see a lady. Can I go over there? No, it is. It's closed. Nice lady. Hi, lady. Oh, there's a devil. Nice show. All right. What else we got? What's next? Am I going to die from this? I'm waiting. I'd go in there if I could. Oh, now there's two. Ooh, and a devil's moving. What you guys doing? You plotting something? There's two devil horns. Ooh, I have no idea what I'm hearing. How are you going to kill me? Oh. Oh. Okay, whoa, wait, did you kill one? You killed one of all oh, those three demons now. Oh god, stop! Stop that! I'm 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 busy watching the movie. The door opened. Do I go in there? Yeah, sure, let's go in there. Why not? I'm a daring do. Oh. Hi! I'm on here now too! Hi, hi guys. Oh, 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 what? Ow! Was that me? Oh god, oh, oh, okay. Ooh, ah, mm-hmm, mm. Well, that room is useless. Ah, okay, all right, well, I, I'm done. I'm done with this, this carnival fun ride. This whole area can go to hell. I'm good. Well, now that I have a level five key guard, let's open up this key thing here. What is this? All right, what is, oh god, whoa, no, nope. Oh, you just had to be coming through the door, didn't you? Oh, oh, that was close. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was so close. Oh. What was it that you... Oh, you, you took the key. What the hell? What was this? What did you not want me to have? SCP-005 seems to have the unique ability to open any and all forms of lock, be they mechanical or digital with relative ease. The origin of what? Basically, this is a master door lock key. It'll unlock anything. That's what you took it. Old balls took the damn key. He stuck it up his keister. It's locked away in his infinite buttocks of darkness. It's probably in his stupid pocket dimension somewhere, if I were to guess. I don't even know if I can actually use that, or if the game's just trolling me. All right, what do we got here? Oh, wait, I recognize that elevator. That leads down to the dogs. Peanut never let me get over here earlier. What is this, SCP-12? 
Cognito hazard. All right, why not experiment with more SCP fun? The hell's down here. Probably another way for me to die. The hell is this? Whoa! What the hell? What? What is happening in my? What? What is this? SCP-12 is to be kept in a dark room at all times if the object is supposed to light. Multiple test subjects were allowed success to the score. In every case, the subjects mutilated themselves in order to use their own blood to finish the piece. So, great SCP of computer horror has uh, opened the door. Door. What is this? How is it drawing me in? I don't want to finish this thing. There's something in there. It looks important, maybe. All right, let's go in there. Oh, can I resist? Going to my certain doom. What is that? A bloody hand? Oh, I can't leave. Come on. Let me leave. I can do it. I must finish this piece. Wait. What if I wear this? Start pushing your nails into your wrist, drawing blood. Yeah, you can. I believe in you. You can do it. You tear open your left wrist and start writing on the composition with your own blood. I'm waiting to die now. I'm going completely crazy. Oh. Okay. Found in a pool of blood next to SCP-012. Subject seems to have ripped open his wrist and written three extra lines to the composition before dying of blood loss. That's great. All right. <clears throat> this was an experimental episode. Lots of, uh... Lots of noodling, lots of, lots of, lots of exploring, lots of dying. And I think that's pretty much it for me today. So I'll see you in the next one. And uh, don't, uh, don't write musical notes with your blood. Yeah. <laughs>